everybody. <laughs> Thought I'd do a, what is this, a Thursday? As uh, Ruthie would say. Thursday, July 15th, year 2021. Update. So, I ran my hiney off yesterday. I'm eating my, I'm taking a 30 minute break. Uh, in uh, Ross, Nevada. Ran my honey off last night until 1 o'clock in the morning. Ran out an hour. And uh, did my calculations. And I would arrive at between 4 and 4.30 in Louisville on Friday. So, being since it's a Friday and it's summertime, a lot of people like to take off early. So just to verify that, I called the guys up over there at the job site and they say, sure enough, we're not going to be there when you get here. <laughs> I guess that means you're not going to be back until Monday. That's correct. I said, okie dokie. I said, I guess I'll see you guys on Monday. So, I really wanted to get this off. Uh, I usually like to get two runs in a, uh, on a paycheck, especially when they're like that, cross country. But, not going to happen. I'll come up short. But as most of you know, I, I did make 4500 after everything was paid out, so that's not too awfully bad for three days of the work. And then uh, got to hang out there in Twin Falls and go across the bridge. Thank you all for your birthday wishes yesterday. That's pretty cool. CNC Auto Works in Amarillo. Pastor Bill McLean up at Thanks for Your Prayers yesterday too, Pastor. And uh, for my, our well-being out here on the road. And uh, uh, and uh, who was that? Thanks Mike Taylor for your birthday wishes and your prayers and your thoughts. As Justin would say, T's and P's back to you. Uh, here we have something in common. We were both born again uh, when we were 40 years old. But that. Uh, 242 Auto Works. Thank you for your thank you for your birthday wishes. STRK man. Oh. <laughs> thank you for your birthday wishes. I think I said Mike Taylor. Joseph Gamble, thank you. Uh, Ruthie's cousin, which is my cousin too. <laughs> Tammy, thank you for your uh, your replies. I don't know if I got a birthday. Oh, and Faith, thank you for your for your birthday wish. I did see your text yesterday, but I was driving, so I couldn't respond. Texting and driving. Uh, I 
need to, I don't like that oil leak on there. Uh, it, I, I washed the motor really well and drove it a couple hundred miles and pulled over. And uh, as long as you ain't getting on it too hard, running 150 miles an hour, um, not. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, it, 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 it don't push out a whole lot of oil just uh, running at regular speed, but also I've been running light stuff. So the more pressure you put on, the more the more it wants to blow that oil out. So and I don't I don't need that uh, I don't need those concerns. And so uh, I cleaned it up and I checked it out and just like. Uh, I was telling you where the JB weld had originally busted off and was leaking and I cleaned it up and I repaired it. It's not leaking there but it's leaking right out of the bottom of the repair and right on the top of the repair. So, so I, I, I really need to fix that. Um, I got my AMS oil in yesterday got my filters so I need to take care of that and I need to put an electric pump on this uh, APU unit even if I don't use it for the air conditioner um, if, if anything happens and my batteries run down it's really nice to have that secondary system back there to keep me from having to pay for a tow truck to come give me a jump start uh, I'll eventually get it in, get it looked at, and find out why it's not running to keep the batteries charged up. And like my other one, anytime we got a drain on the batteries, it would start up and charge them. And why it keeps shutting down when the air conditioner comes on after 20 minutes or so. Not shutting down, but the air conditioner goes off motor don't go up. So anyway, so um, I guess you guys have a nice one. Peace, God bless, and hey, have lots of fun, and later.